For weeks, Atlanta City officials have been mystified as to exactly how city money was funneled to Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard's office. Ultimately, a large portion of the money earmarked for crime fighting programs supplemented Howard's Fulton County salary. Our I team did some digging and found out how the money was appropriated and who was involved. Senior I team reporter Dale Russell has the story. The person is on probation. In 2014, Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard wrote this letter to Mayor Kasim Reed asking to increase his prosecutor's salary. It kicked off a series of exchanges and crime fighting plans that ended with the city of Atlanta granting two $125,000 checks to Howard's DA's office during the next three years. Not only the arrest information. According to this letter written after the first check arrived, Howard told Mayor Reed the money would be administered by a nonprofit entity run by the district attorney's office entitled People Partnering for Progress, or PPP. PPP's records indicate Howard used a minimum of $140,000 of the grant money to supplement his salary. Howard, in a written statement, said the rest of the money went to crime fighting programs like battling repeat criminal offenders. When the salary arrangement was first reported by the AJC and WSB, the State Ethics Department and the GBI launched an investigation. There has been no discussion about it on council, and I was uh, totally unaware. City Council President Felicia Moore was a council member when the salary boost took place. She went back to check legislation and could find no sign of the money being approved by the Atlanta City Council. I went to search because I wanted to know, well, maybe I had voted for something that I didn't remember. Then as we researched the subject, we asked Council President Moore to go inside the clerk's office for us and look for amendments to the 2014 budget. And she did and found this. Buried deep in the bowels of the city clerk's office was this document, an amendment to the police budget offered by then Councilman C.T. Martin. It spells out $125,000 for CERT funds, that citizen's emergency response team. It was voted on by the council and passed 14 to zero. What would you have voted if you knew that some of that money was gonna supplement the salary of the DA? I would have voted no for sure, and I think many other members would have voted no as well. PPP's tax records show Howard increased his salary through the nonprofit by $50,000 the first year and $20,000 the next year after getting that check. The city cut another check to Howard's office in 2017, again $125,000. According to his nonprofit, he was paid an additional $70,000 in salary out of that money. You surprised by this now that you've seen it? I am surprised by it. it. It really kind of bothers you because as an elected official, and particularly me, I try to be as meticulous as I can in what I approve and disapprove. I certainly don't like having approval of something that is not how, how it's presented. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.